We're over here installing a new uh, MANA 18 series system. Yesterday, the older system was sitting right here. I want you to look at these four prints. They had a 34 inch unit and a 40 inch space. And according to the, the Florida Building Code and the Clearance Code, you're supposed to have 12 inches minimally from the wall and 12 inches minimally from this wall. Okay, so we know right now the clearances of the new Florida building code does not suffice. So we moved it over here. Uh, we set it on a new hurricane pad. This pad's rated 115 miles per hour. Okay, so what we've done, we've actually come over here and measured it. So now the, the clearance is 12 inches. We at Jones Air Conditioning actually like to put ours about 18 inches a lot of times. So this one here is right at 15 and a half to 16 inches. We square everything against the wall. 15 and a half to 16 inches, everything's totally square. That way, the air moves around the unit. Just enough, and I want to point out, guys, when you're setting your pads, please try to set your pads square. This one here is like nine and a half inches. This one's nine and a half inches. So not only is the pad square, the unit is square. It looks, it looks great. Now that's what the code requires is a minimum distance off the wall and good workmanship requires you to square up the pad. So what you're going to get here as, as the unit produces this hot air out of the top of the unit, there, you, you notice how it's a little bit past the soffit here. Okay, so you've got half the unit past the soffit. Okay, so that hot air will blow up and then the wind will come across and dissipate the heat off. It'll carry it off. So that way the compressor does not overheat. It does run high excessive uh, head pressure. It adds longevity to the equipment, increases the efficiency of the unit, and keeps the electric bills lower. If you have any questions, give Jones Air Conditioning and Electrical Call on Clarence 596-5855. That is Jones Air Conditioning at 239-596-5855. Five five. Okay.